Hi, my name is Joshua and this is the next video in our series about how to build a course membership platform with Payload CMS. What you're seeing here is a little bit of a preview of what we're going to achieve within the next few videos. And what we want to do is add a little bit tool of layout, navbar and landing page to our to our project and as this is not the focus or the the Next.js part is not the focus of the project. I prepared some stuff which will you be able to copy paste and we're also going to define the data structure for the actual courses and define or create this dashboard where we're gonna show some user information and all the available courses. After that what is following is a course detail view and actually participating in courses and being able to track the user's progress. Now, to get started, we can close this again. We want to go into our project and actually to all the folders that are not routes, we want to add the underscore to explicitly tell Next.js that it's not a route. This avoids complications um, happening in the future. Right now, it, not, it did not really make a difference because in none of these sub uh, folders is a, is a page .tsx, but to avoid confusion in the future, we should add always the underscore. Now, this is the first thing we should do. I now already added the underscores and we can procedure from this. As I said, I prepared some material for you and this you are able to find on our payload course membership Next.js tutorial on our GitHub. The link to this is in the description. And the first thing you would need to do is to add some assets, which is the logo of the project. Of course, you can you can style the whole project however you want. This is just some example, some uh, placeholder graphics and material you can use if you don't want to create something on your own. Now let's download this and let's add this to our project. For this, we should create an asset folder and the asset folder should be in source so new folder assets and let's simply let's drag and drop our icon here we rename this very quick okay logo logo.svg and we got our icon added to the project because the next thing we want to do is we want to add an actual navigation bar or something like a navigation bar to our project and a small landing page. So if we go to this, there is a little bit more than just a blank page and a login button. We will find the code for the landing page and the landing page is pure, pure TSX without any logic or without anything related to payload. So I think it's fine if we simply copy paste this for the sake of brevity. Let's go into page. So source app, app in braces and page. And you will find the landing page. We'll copy it, paste it in here, our page, save it. And you should be able to see after a few seconds. Yes, our landing page. On here we also find a login button, so it's way more convenient to log in in the future. Let's go back here. And in order to add the nav bar, as you see, we already have the login button and the icon directly on the landing page. And to make it easier for us to basically show only links to the user that the user is supposed to see, let's log in for a second. One, two, three, four, five. We will add the nav bar within the routed layout uh, the authenticated layout so every authenticated route is going to show like in the dashboard if it loads in a few seconds yes is going to show our our nav bar including links to setting pages link to the home page link to logging out to find the code for the nav bar we will again go into our app folder into components and in this no in 
Where is it in Authenticated? We have Components. We have Navbar. This is, as you can see, very basic. Although one other thing we did not cover in the last tutorials is the Logout button and we should go over this in a little bit more detail, detail in a second. Now first let's copy the navbar. Let's create here a file navbar.tsx. Let's paste it and of course it wasn't here the Logout button which we're also going to cover. Let's copy it new file logout button.tsx and paste it. Now what is happening in the logout button? Actually in the logout button we want to call the logout server action which we can also find in here logout and let's finally add our logout server action And this logout server action basically just deletes the cookie and returns to our front end that the logout was successful. And if the logout was successful, our logout server button is going to push a new route, which is the home route. Now, if everything loaded, we should see nothing because we did not include our, uh, our navbar yet in our layout. And this is going to happen here. Let's make this into a div. And here we want to display oops, the nav. Let's import it. And oops, where is my mouse? Here is my mouse. And we can reload the page. And what we now see is our new navbar. If we log out we're gonna get oh, apparently not. Ah, it's, it's simply loading compiling the page. So normally would now already be yes on the landing page and we are at the correct place. The result. That's it for this video and in the next video we are going to start with the data structure of the courses. If this was helpful for you, would be very helpful for us if you leave a like or a comment and see you the next time.